Hello everyone, Thor here. Last night I got to see A Quiet Place 2, which is a fantastic sequel to a great movie, uh, Quiet Place 1. And this one takes place right after the first one. So if you didn't see the first one, definitely see that first. And what's great about that though, is that since the movies go right into each other, there are definitely two movies you could watch back to back and it'd be awesome. It'd be like great three hours, they flow together, it works perfectly. So when they come out on Blu-ray, definitely get both of them. So um, A Quiet Place 2 is great at keeping the tension like the first one. You know, there, there's so many tense moments and it, it just keeps building but never quite <laughs> releases. It just sticks to the whole movie and you're kind of on the edge of your seat and it's great. It's a great thriller movie. It's a horror movie that's not so much about the monsters but more about the people in it which is kind of great. I'm a huge Last of Us fan, so I, I, I feel like they took a... It's very similar to that. Um, especially, like, the opening scene. They showed day one when the um, monsters had an outbreak. Well, in Last of Us be outbreak, but in this, when the monsters came from space or whatever, and, and, you know, it's complete chaos because no one knows how to handle these creatures. Like When we see them, usually it's in the future where they know how to handle it, but day one's complete chaos, and you kind of see how everyone reacted to it and how the monsters came to be and how this all started. It, it The scene was really great because uh, the main characters kind of get split up. It's the first 10 minutes of the film, but it, it's a really good scene and it really felt like Last of Us 1 where you're, you know, Joel, Tommy trying to get out with Sarah and you're, you, you know, you're carrying her and trying to escape all the chaos. It, it, it felt like I was watching, you know, another version of that. So that was like really, really cool. Um, honestly, uh, I, I think a quiet place one and two kind of like is probably closer to a last of us movie than we'll ever get. Um, you know, I, I kind of think of these creatures as like giant clickers since they're deaf and react to sounds, you know, Except they're faster and kind of scarier than clickers. These clickers are more human size, but clickers can be terrifying too if you've played The Last of Us. But um, yeah, the the actors in this are great. Even the child actors, that can be tough. And uh, th this is a movie where you're they're not talking much because they have to be quiet. So it's a lot of uh, you know using their body language to communicate. So that's got to be tough to do. So it was impressive that everyone was so good in this. And, you, you know, the element that they can't make sounds in having one of the characters be deaf is such a interesting way to go about it. It's 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 great. Um, we've never seen anything like that. And, and a small sound could cause, you know, any character to die at any moment. You know, we've seen it like in the first one, they show the little boy gets killed because his toy goes off and it's so quick and you don't hear the creatures coming. They're very stealthy and it's just, you know, they can be there at any moment and, you know, come come from anywhere. You don't know how long you got when you make too much noise. And they, they do that all points in this movie. You know, sometimes they activate like a loud trap or knock something over and, you know, maybe they have a minute, maybe they have 30 seconds, maybe it's five seconds, maybe it's already there. And you get a little of all of that. And uh, in this, the, in the first one, they really focused on the family surviving by themselves. But in this one, at the end of the first one, their home was destroyed. So they have to go on and they run into a um, a family friend. And he, he's great. Uh, he plays a huge role in this that, you know, I didn't expect him to be in it this much. But he becomes one of the main characters, which... Uh, he he's great and so I'm, I'm glad they added him and, and they kind of split up the original characters like they have their own stories but you know some are kind of just sitting home waiting for the monsters trying to survive and the others the other group goes on this adventure trying to find safety and both of them uh kind of go along they jump back and forth but they definitely focus on one group to move the story more so some people might not like that but uh i thought it was pretty good and john krasinski um really impressive you know it's, it's surprising this is jim from uh the office and uh that this is what he's doing but he should make more movies he's great at making these two movies were great 
and the suspense is great. I, I love like a good suspenseful atmospheric horror and you, that's what you get out of this and it's a really, really good time. Um, I, I definitely recommend seeing it and I got to see it in like an IMAX experience. So like it was really good. Like the movie theater was super quiet. Like people are afraid to make noise in the movie theater because it's so impactful. Everyone's like even afraid to eat their popcorn. It, I was uh, lucky because uh, I got to see it on the bigger screen and you know the IMAX sound like it it, it was an awesome experience and I highly recommend if you can see it in a theater of course you know depending on your state how it is uh definitely try to go see it in a theater it's well worth it one of the best movies I've seen in a while so definitely go check it out Thor